Alrighty guys, so we are here at Extreme Engineering and we have Matt. And Matt, you have a wonderful product here called the Cloud Coaster. We do, we do. We debuted it last year, um, as you saw, at IAPA, and now we have actually brought it with some new changes to it. Uh, I'm not physically operating it this year, uh, I'm just showing actually all those features and benefits that, uh, that we've learned and adapted over the last 12 months. Now, we actually have a display model right here where people are taking a look at different things. Now, can you tell me a little bit about the changes that we see on this as opposed to what was here last year? Yeah, a couple of the larger changes is uh, we still are having our lift trolley in place. However, instead of it being driven hydraulically, it's now driven mechanically. Uh, so it's very predictable and we're allowed to put sensors at the top. So now your, your return on that lift trolley is very, very concise and you can actually judge a throughput by it. Uh, the other thing that we did that's super important is we've, we've switched over to a seat harness. The benefit to the seat harness is it's super, super comfortable. It does have the redundancy along the waist as well as in the um, as well as between the legs, so everyone's secure while they're riding it. It also allows us to have four pick points to limit the sway when you're actually riding the cloud coaster. Very neat. Now the model that you had on the show floor uh, last year, you had several sales from that. You actually had you said Biloxi. Yeah, Biloxi's our first project was in uh, Margaritaville down in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, that project was about 240 feet of track. It was the first project that we've done, um, all attached to the building directly. Uh, it was a really, really big success. Got a lot of press across the board, uh, and the customer's been a huge, huge fan. It's been a really, really great success. And again, you have this one display, but there is yet another display here. And what can you tell me about that one that's over there? So this is actually called our space track. The reason why we came up with the space track is because we wanted something that could do larger spans. So if you look at the space track, it's actually very similar to an upside down roller coaster track. So we're still using the same size to hold it in place. Uh, but now we can do spans of about 30 feet for places where you don't have the space to put as many vertical uprights in. The other thing that we're doing is we have adopted a new trolley system for the space track that incorporates the same uh, magnetic braking system technology, but it also allows you to run two carts in tandem. So by running two carts in tandem, you can actually instantly double through. In fact, let's actually go over there if you don't mind so we can take a better look at this. But the track design itself has actually changed. They had the I-beam that was over on the other side, and again, this is more of a triangle style box track. But here we see the two seats, so you can have a higher capacity and again these are really really kind of stiff sturdy looks nice and uh, very redundant when it comes to safety systems and everything else like that do you expect that this is going to be kind of your go-to coaster as opposed to the other one that's over there or it, we're there's still a small niche part of the market that will still accept the traditional eye track um, however just because there's more versatility with the space track it allows us to not only cover the larger spans but to have more of a robust look especially outside. Absolutely. Now, one last thing that I see is you have something over here in Hawaii. So yet another cloud coaster going into a different location, correct? Uh, this is actually a pending job that we're working on right okay. now. So we're, we're in the last stages with uh, with corporate to, to make this project happen. So so hopefully we'll, we'll get that uh, confirmation very shortly. All right. Matt, you have a wonderful design here, and we always look forward to speaking with you. So thank you for speaking with our guests. Yeah, yeah. And we're excited to see what you guys have in the future. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Thank you.